Today I'm going to go through the Lilby iceberg and try my best to explain each entry into the chart. My Lilby knowledge is already pretty expansive, but I have done the best I can to research each topic thoroughly and explain it to the best of my ability. I'm sure you guys already know the iceberg format, but if not, essentially the further you go down, the more obscure the information gets. So let's start with tier 1. TYBG. TYBG refers to the term Thank You Base God which appears in most of the memes created about Lil B in 2010. The memes were mostly actually created by Lil B himself, essentially trying to create a viral meme of himself to push his career forward and spread his message of positivity. The meme basically included an image with impact font text saying thank you base god. The term has since become iconic, being used in many different ways. Lil B real name. Lil B's real name is Brandon Christopher McCartney, hence Lil B. Swag. Swag is a term often used by Lil B as ad-libs in his songs. He claims to have the most swag in the rap game. Swag as slang essentially means cool and originally came from the word swagger, which means to walk in a very confident way. The term was shortened and popularised by Jay-Z. The term was originally used in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, where it meant a bold or arrogant strut. Lil B is coated in swag. Flame mixtapes. This entry refers to the series of mixtapes released by Lil B, which usually have a colour with flame after it. The series as of now includes Blue Flame, Red Flame, Evil Red Flame, Red Flame Devil Music Edition, Black Flame, White Flame, Green Flame, Pink Flame, Platinum Flame, and Red Flame After the Fire. Lil B Fucked My Bitch. This entry is very similar to the TYBG entry. Lil B or the bass god Fuck My Bitch is another term used in various ways over images with impact font text. Cloud Rap Cloud Rap is a genre of music which first rose to prominence when Lil B released his 6 Kiss mixtape in 2009. Lil B teamed up with producer Clams Casino for multiple songs on the project. Clams Casino could create misty atmospheric beats by adjusting and chopping image and heap samples, essentially creating Cloud Rap. This genre has since been created by artists like ASAP Rocky and Young Lean. Lil B has also been said to have created the name. He showed a music journalist an image of a CGI castle in the clouds and said that's the music I want to make. This is however unconfirmed apart from the interviews with said journalist. Alright time for tier 2. 32 Levels is named after Lil B. 32 Levels is an album released by Clams Casino in 2016. The name of the album originates from a Lil B lyric in the song I'm God which is also produced by Clams Casino. The mind is so complex when you're based. 32 levels, welcome to my world. The cooking dance. This entry refers to the viral dance invented by Lil B. The dance involves the individual performing various kitchen maneuvers, including, but not limited to, stirring a pot, flipping the pan, and eventually eating the prepared meal. The dance became a viral sensation in 2011. The dance was done by celebrities, athletes, and many members of the general public. The dance was inspired by a Chopper music video. Lil B would see the video and put his own originality on it, creating the cooking dance. Lil B performed this dance in many videos and created a tutorial that he posted to his YouTube channel. Kevin Durant Curse KD Curse refers to the curse Lil B put on Kevin Durant in 2011 and 2014. The feud started when Kevin Durant tweeted, tried to listen to Lil B and my mind wouldn't let me do it can't believe this guy's relevant. Lil B would respond and adopt the powers of the base god to curse Kevin Durant. He tweeted, KD will never win the title after he called Lil B a whack rapper. The base god's curse on Durant. Lil B created a stipulation in which the curse would be lifted if KD played Lil B in a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. KD agreed but never did it. In the 2012 NBA Finals, Durant's team would lose to the Miami Heat. Lil B lifted the curse shortly after and it remained quiet for a bit. This was until Lil B released the song Fuck Kevin Durant in 2014, reigniting the curse. KD's team, the Thunders, would lose to Lil B's home team, the Golden State Warriors, by losing three games in a row after being 3-1 up in a best of five. In 2016, Kevin Durant left the Thunders to join Lil B's home team. Lil B lifted the curse shortly after. Most assume Kevin joined the team to try and relinquish the curse as he knew it would follow him to any other team. Base God Alter Ego Lil B is referred to the Base God as a separate entity to himself, essentially an alter ego. He originally came into contact with the Base God through his based freestyles, where he would enter a higher state of mind, coming into contact with the Base God. He explained on ESPN Sport Nation this exact concept, 
and how the base god is the entity responsible for the curses and higher power situations. The Pack The Pack was and still is a rap group originally created by Lil B and Young L. The group contains the rappers Lil B, Stunnerman, Lil Uno and the producer Young L. The group came to fruition in 2004 as Lil B had a lack of beats and Young L had a lack of rappers for his beats. They were recorded together in Young L's studio and in 2005 released Wolfpack Music Volume 1 which began to make waves in the San Francisco underground scene. In 2006 they released Wolfpack Music Volume 2 which contained the song Vance. The song was also posted to MySpace and got a lot of attention on the internet. This attention would lead to a record label deal with Up All Night Records, a subsidiary of Jive Records. Under the label the group released Based Boys which unfortunately had poor sales, resulting in the group being dropped from their label. The group is how Lil B got his start, and still work together from time to time, and never officially broke up. Lil B helping nature. I assume this entry refers to the Lil B and nature videos the artist started posting to his social media in 2016. The videos involved Lil B documenting his experience with the world around him, specifically nature. The videos would include his experiences with bugs. Oh my God, Atlanta is no joke. Dogs. Very real friend, the uh, dog from Russia. Hello. Birds. Beautiful wildlife. And much more. Lil B is against the death and consumption of animals and has worked with a vegan company, Follow Your Heart, to create the app Vegemoji. Looks like we're starting to get deep in our boys. Tier 3. Double XL Cypher. Double XL is a hip hop magazine that every year dedicates an issue to upcoming hip hop artists. This is named Double XL Freshman. The artists are involved in interviews, freestyles and cyphers. Lil B would be a double XL freshman in 2011 and perform the cypher with Kendrick Lamar, Yellow Wolf and Saehee the Prince. The surprising thing about the cypher is how good Lil B raps in it. At the time, many saw him as a joke because many of his songs released were based freestyles. Even the rappers at the time seemed shocked. Lil B remained shirtless throughout the entire cypher. The verse used in the cypher was from the song Exhibit Based on the Red Flame mixtape released in 2010. I'm Gay Controversy In 2011, Lil B announced his next album would be named I'm Gay. This resulted in huge amounts of controversy. Lil B was heavily criticised for his choice of album title from many individuals within the hip-hop community and even received death threats for this. Many saw it as a publicity stunt. The album was eventually released in July of the same year. Lil B changed the album title to I'm Gay, I'm Happy in parentheses due to the controversy, mainly due to the death threats. A day later, Lil B released the album for free on Facebook for anyone who couldn't afford to buy it, disproving the allegations of a publicity stunt. He also touted the album title as a message of support for the LGBTQ community. The album was actually really good and received mainly positive reviews. Soldier Boy Label In 2010, Lil B signed to Soldier Boy's label, which is called Stacks on Deck Money Gang, or SODMG. The signing wouldn't result in much, apart from a collaborative album with Big Draco. Lil B would shortly return to releasing all his albums independently. Rare Golden Mixtapes This entry refers to a collection of mixtapes entitled Golden Mixtapes. These projects are much harder to find and listen to, hence the term rare. Joe Budden and Joey Badass Beef I'm going to split this section into two. First, the Joe Budden Beef. In 2010, Budden took to Twitter and mocked Lil B's music and based movement. Lil B quickly responded with insults and eventually the diss, t-shirts and Buddens. Not long after, Lil B apologised and called Budden a legend. The two still remain respectful of each other and Budden has covered Lil B a few times on some of his shows and tweeted years later saying the diss track is still hard. Next, the Joe Badass beef. In 2011, Joe Badass released a song, Survival Tactics, in which Capital Steve's rap, Tell the Bass God, Don't Quit His Day Job. Lil B responded with a diss track called I'm the Badass. Joey responded with another diss track called Don't Quit Your Day Job. The feud spread to Twitter, where Joey would delete his Twitter. Many speculated it was because of Lil B fans, but Joey later denied it. In a later interview with DJ Vlad, Joey admitted the beef was fake. However, Lil B has never admitted to this himself. Could be fake, could be not, I don't know. One dollar verse. One dollar verse refers to the fact that Lil B often charges very little for features, as little as 45 cents. I found two specific times which are interesting. In 2019, a Reddit user wanted a verse from Lil B, but only had 50 cents to his name. He reached out to Lil B with some music, and Lil B responded with interest in working with the user. Lil B charged 45 cents for the feature. Another rapper paid two dollars for a feature. Lil B's feature on the track solely included lyrics of Lil B roasting the artist who raps before him on the song. 
A feature being this cheap for an artist as big as Lil B is literally unheard of in the industry. Taking Over Novel. This refers to the book Lil B released in 2009 named Taking Over by Imposing the Positive, my personal rap to you, which was published by Kelly Publishing. This book includes a collection of email and text message style messages written in such a way that the author is emailing the reader. Subjects include positivity, optimism, and living a based lifestyle. Kiki. Kiki refers to Lil B's cat, which is named Kiki. This cat would be first made known to the world when Lil B uploaded a video onto Blackman Videos, his second channel. The video is called Black Man and His Cat, Episode 1, The Floating Kitty. Floating Kitty. And includes footage of Lil B playing with his cat Kiki. Kiki is an adopted tabby cat, and Lil B quickly formed a tight bond with the cat. In 2011, Lil B released a song with Kiki and uploaded it to YouTube. The video is called Kiki, the Adopted Tabby Cat Makes History, First Animal in Hip Hop, featuring Lil B. The song features Lil B repeating Kiki and is accompanied by Kiki purring over and over again over the beat. Kinky. Kitty. MySpace novelty pages. This entry was one of the few at this level I wasn't already familiar with. I tried my best to research. I believe this entry refers to the fact that Lil B has created around 155 MySpace pages since 2010 and has uploaded over 1,500 songs. Many of the pages are seen as novelty pages. 4chan Grammys. In 2013, the Grammys had a public online vote on a performer for the 55th annual Grammys. Of course, the random image board on 4chan, also known as B, immediately took notice and urged each user to go onto Facebook and use all 10 of each of their votes to vote for Lil B. The rapper reached second place in his region, however, was removed from the poll altogether the day before it closed. Lil B didn't perform at the Grammys. Every article I found on this was painted 4chan in a negative light for this, which I don't really agree with. Obviously, often their intentions are nefarious, but in this case, they were just trying to let love and positivity rule over the Grammys. Grandma Earrings Influence I think this entry refers to the stylish earrings often donned by Lil B, looking similar to those worn by a stereotypical grandma. Base God Alter Ego is real. This refers to the theory that the Base God Alter Ego, which I explained earlier, is in fact real. This theory stems from the fact that every time the base god curses somebody, it seems to take real and immediate effect. One example is Kevin Durant and another is James Harden, who had a similar string of losses when the base god cursed him. Paint. This entry could refer to a few things. Most likely it refers to the ambient album Paint released by Lil B. The album is not on any streaming services apart from SoundCloud and seems to be relatively rare. The album is beautiful, I've linked it below. It could also refer to Lil B's stylist, who has the online alias Dior Paint. He posts extremely rare images of Lil B on his Tumblr. Finally, it could refer to Lil B's art, which was created in reaction to his home burning down in 2015. Since then, Lil B has hosted various art shows. Lil B and Chance the Rapper Mixtape. In 2015, Lil B collaborated with upcoming independent artist Chance the Rapper, who has since reached the highs and lows of hip hop. The mixtape is called Free Based Freestyles Mixtape and is very good, back when Chance could actually rap. This is where things get weird. A lot of these entries are very speculative and over the top. Most probably aren't true and some potentially even made up by the creator of this tier list. I'll try my best to find meaning in these entries. Dead body in shooter gun music video. This refers to the fact that some people believe that a dead body can be seen in the background of the shooter gun music video. This video is shot in a very dark location and is quite blurry, so not much can be seen. I scrubbed through the entire video and all I could see that was close was at the very end when the camera pans to the floor and a dark figure can be kind of seen. Sort of a stretch, but potentially. World is Ending predicted the future. The World is Ending is a song released by Lil B in 2010, which features an Elliot Smith sample at the beginning. This entry theorizes that this song has predicted the future. Although the world has been on a consistent downfall overall since the early 2000s, a world ending scenario has not been realized yet. Although things are looking bad currently. I guess this entry is still up in the air. 1,800 songs disappeared. I couldn't really find anything for this entry, so it's mainly just guesswork from my part. Lil B has admitted in the past that some songs have been deleted, usually due to them being too rare or too based for the human ear. An example of this is I Can't Breathe. This entry could also relate to the rarity of some Lil B songs being so difficult to find they might as well be deleted. Lil B promotes violence through subliminal messages. Although the bass god is a blessed individual who mainly wants to spread positivity through his music, a lot of his songs have very violent lyrics and messages, to the point of being incredibly over the top. 
An example of this is Murder 8, which lyrically consists of Lil B just saying he's going to shoot and kill multiple people before giving his support for multiple countries that were going through strife at the time. I wouldn't say a lot of Lil B's violent content is subliminal, however, like he's literally straight up saying this shit loud and clear. It could also refer to his ad libs, which can be occasionally violent. Also, whilst researching this, I couldn't find a single time when a violent act was committed and Lil B was attributed or even mentioned as being inspiration. Possessed by the devil. The devil has been linked to hip hop various times in the past, whether it be 3 Six Mafia or more recent artists such as Trippy Red or Lil Nas X, it seems to be a common trend. In relation to Lil B, the devil possession theory mainly comes from a song, I'm the Devil, released by Lil B in 2010. Obviously, Lil B references God and religion a lot in his music, sometimes positive, mainly braggadocious, claiming to be a god. Fallen angels are loosely referenced in the Bible occasionally, mainly being angels cast out from heaven to hell. Potentially, Lil B is a fallen angel, adopted by the devil. This would explain the violent messages often appearing in Lil B's music, and obviously the otherworldly powers he possesses. Everything I just said is complete bollocks. The song I'm the Devil is mainly about Lil B facing his own demons. It's very good, I'll check it out if I you. And now we're on tier 8, the deepest tier. This is where it gets kind of stupid, stupider and stupider. Cult murders in Berkeley, do not research. Okay, so not only does this entry refer to something horrific and ultimately tragic, it's a story that can't and ultimately shouldn't be contained in a Lil B video. I believe this entry refers to Jonestown, I did a large amount of research into this for the video and came to the conclusion that it isn't really suitable to explain in detail in a video like this. I have linked a documentary below that explains the incident in a detailed and respectful manner. The reason this links to Lil B is that many of the victims were residents of Berkeley which is where Lil B is from and reps in his music. Baseworld is an alternate dimension. Baseworld is the name of the record label created by Lil B. This is also used to sell his merch and other things linked to the Lil B. This theory pertains to the base world being an alternate dimension, home to the base god himself. Lil B is able to call to this alternate dimension to the base god in order to perform curses and special powers. Death of Rap, Real Life Implications This refers to the song Death of Rap, where Lil B ultimately kills the entire genre of rap through his based flow and lyricism. Maybe a boomer mumble rap hater would agree that hip hop has been dead since 2009 or even before that. I obviously have an open mind. I believe Lil B slayed rap in 2009, only for it to be reborn shortly after. On the I'm Thrax mixtape, the song after Death of Rap is the Bible, which is obviously the origin story of the religion which currently has over 2 billion followers. I believe Lil B tore down the rap game, sacrificed it through Death of Rap, just so he could revive it through the Bible recreate it with his own origin story. For too many years before this, hip hop was full of violent lyrics and this is completely absent of positivity. Lil B wanted to change that, therefore had to sacrifice the genre he loved the most. So that's the Lil B iceberg. Comment the lowest entry you knew down in the comments. I want to know the extent of your based knowledge. A lot of the lower entries were made up I think, with little actual facts, but I tried my best to turn them into entertaining entries. Don't worry, more documentaries on the way. So if you enjoyed, Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and let the algorithm carry the base god to more people's YouTube feeds. And if you want to learn more about Lil B, make sure to watch my Lil B documentary. It's probably the most detailed documentary about the base god on YouTube.